Hey everybody out there in Beatland world. Uh, I am Andrew Sample. I'm the publisher of a book on the monkeys and now I'm the publisher of a book by Mickey Dolenz of his photo collection and this box contains the first ever finished copy of it. It's a flexi bound version. There's three different editions of it and I'm going to unbox it for you and give you a little sneak peek of what's inside of Mickey's book. And a lot of people would wonder, well, what's what does Mickey got? <laughs> We're going to see. And hopefully it won't just be pictures of the phone that's holding it in. And uh, each of the books comes in one of these, what they call bumper boxes. This is a very nice one. And it will be packed in another box. And it's heavy, uh, which is why postage is expensive. I don't make the postage prices the carriers do, in case that was a thing you thought of, like, why, why charge so much for postage? Well, postage is expensive because it's a heavy book. It's 500 pages, has over 1,200 images, and you're supposed to get to see this as I do it, right? Okay, so there it is. This is the flexi bound, not a hardback one. The hardback ones will be uh, numbered and signed, each one individually signed by Mickey, but these are the regular people versions. This is $75 on pre-order and will go up to 100 after October. And here it is, I'm told I had a good time. We'll use this. A little sandy and the end papers. A bunch of Mickey's personal ephemera. This came from his yearbook. This book belongs to Mickey Dolan's. No, no, it belongs to you. If you bought it. Um, let's see. There's lots and lots of photos from the 1967 tour in here. This is Mickey's passport photo. This is his actual copy of the Melody Maker he kept from when he went to England. He kept his Music papers and colored in pictures of the Beatles, a pair of Ringo's drumsticks that he kept, and drafts of Randy Skousket as he was writing it, different lyrics for that song. Here they are on the plane. There's Mike and Phyllis and David and Peter. And there's also a bunch of great, let's see here, I'll show you one of the foldouts. Uh, if you have my monkey's book, you know I did these foldout things, which are nice. And uh, what it is is section kind of pops out like this section here, on a boat, and it's a party, and it's a bunch of wonderful photos of Jimi Hendrix, and the experience, and Peter Tork here in this one, and a lot of these you've seen maybe in fan magazines or online, these are from the original negatives, so they look a lot better than the ones that are online, and there are, for the hardcore Monkees fans, there's a lot of stuff that's not really pictured anywhere else. Although, a lot of great 67 photos have been out there. Like, you know, Michael with the Fire Glow Rick and then the natural Rickenback control string and on stage. Um, some more great plane shots and party at the Warwick Hotel and Buffalo Springfield photos. And some of the best photos are doing 33 and a third. Mickey got a fisheye lens and here they are filming 33 and a third. And let's see, I don't want to give it all away, but um, we'll do maybe a few of these. There's some photos. Here are the monkeys in Mexico, Sam the Good Timers in color. Great stuff. And then of the early years of Mickey, uh, a lot of people haven't seen a lot of those photos, those color photos of them shooting the pilot in 1965. But let's go back to early thing. So, you've heard of Mickey and the One-Nighters and the Missing Links. Well, there's a bunch of color photos of Mickey on stage in Denver in 1964. And the book starts at his birth, and his parents kept everything. They kept the tag of, off the crib he was born in, and uh, even have an early draft of an autobiography he was working on in 1962. And it goes all the way up through to when he and uh, David went to England to do The Point in 1977, going on to early 78, and there's wonderful unpublished photos from The Point in here as well. And then hopefully we'll go on to do some other other editions, some other volumes, but we haven't set that up yet. We're just happy to get this one done right now and get it out to you, and hopefully it will be in your hands if you bought one sooner than later. So thanks for this first look at Mickey's book, The Flexi Bound, and I'll be back with you with some other updates soon.